If you haven't been up Bree Street lately, the perfect excuse to do so is a restaurant that's only been open three months and is already a landmark. From the fish to the salt to the wine list, everything is sourced locally and supports homegrown businesses. Cape Town City Centre has an abundance of fantastic restaurants to choose from. One of the latest additions to Bree Street offers mouth-watering coastal produce, so you needn't go fishing to enjoy some of the freshest seafood in the mother city. This was a leap of faith and investment in South Africa for Alex and Ruth Graham, who sold their restaurant in Scotland to move their lives lock, stock and barrel to a new country. After starting as a pop-up, Seabreeze Fish and Shell finally opened its doors earlier this year. That's right, yes. Uh, we were over here on holiday uh, about 18 months ago and we thought, what a great city, what a beautiful place, surrounded by the oceans and surrounded by fishing boats, and where's the, the great local seafood restaurants? Uh, we couldn't find one in the city that was serving you know, a daily changing menu and seasonable, sustainable fish. So we thought, let's open one. Well, your restaurant certainly boasts ocean inspiration. Thank you, yeah. What we did is we just look at everything that's around us. So for us, the inspiration was the sea meeting the shore. So we've got the deep dark blues of the ocean, the Atlantic, and meeting the sandy shores, uh, and with the inspiration of the fish and the coral and everything that you find it around you. And then we refurbished the heritage building, building that was here already. So just to enhance it, and just to make it a really local place and that we make it look really interesting and welcoming for guests. In the kitchen is British chef Philip Alcock. His latest invention is a smoked snook donut. Using Cape Malay flavors, Phil's approach is to buy local, and if it's not sustainably sourced from African waters, it's not on the menu. This dish looks intriguing. What have you prepared? Uh, this is our smoked snook uh, donuts, which I've been playing with for the last couple of uh, months. It started off as a, a fed cook, and then from a fed cook, it went to the donuts. And yeah, like all our food, you know, I play, I tinker, and it evolves on a daily, weekly basis. With the seafood comes a rocking good menu of cocktails, each with its own story. Ruth, I can see the sea breeze becoming one of my favorite spots to hang out. We just think that so much atmosphere here for different needs. Um, for First Thursday, people can come along. Um, they can prop themselves up at the oyster bar, have some oysters and MCC, or if they're hungry, they can sit down and have a full meal. And our table outside is just brilliant for people to come and meet up for friends and then end up meeting other people and making new friends. And you've designed a special cocktail menu. Yeah, we've got six, six to eight signature cocktails here. We've chosen rum as our main spirit. It's a real connection between the sea and rum, and that goes back historically. And this particular one that we made for you is called our Rum Cannonball. The inspiration is from the Life Aquatic with Bill Murray, who mentions that the Rum Cannonball is his favorite cocktail made by his favorite barman, Kino. So we've got four different rums in here. Um, it packs a punch, but it also is so fresh and delicious that you're gonna want to drink it all summer. You're right, I'm definitely gonna be drinking this all summer. It's delicious. Ruth's parents, both in their 80s, were here for first Thursdays, and they had a ball. This gig is for everyone. 